Yeah, the hack committee. The committee gets together in the local town where the exchange is going to be. And we just kind of help with ideas for restaurants, things to do, places to go. I know in years past when we've had spouses programs, you know, we've kind of put together ideas for the spouses too. And I know they've done away with that, but that has been in years past. So it's always kind of fun because you're on it with a lot of the local Jeeps members in the in the area. Plus you'll get a few from out of the area and some new folks that want to sit on it and help. So it's always kind of exciting to meet the new folks in, in the hack committees. Uh, you know, Stephen, it's restaurants are so individual. Uh, you know, barbecue is always good in Kansas City. I'm sure I'm different than everybody else. You know, I kind of like a little sweeter sauce. So I'm, I'm more of a, you know, maybe an Arthur Bryant's and not as much as Gates. But, you know, it's, you know, Oklahoma Joe's, um, Jack Stack. There's just so, so many of them. Smokehouse. Uh, and if, they all offer something a little different little bit different flavor for all of them. So it kind of depends if you're a beans guy. If you're a beans guy, Smokehouse has great beans, you know. Uh, yeah, I think Kansas City's known well for their barbecue. And there's some good Italian joints down there, too. I went back in Kansas City. You know, the last couple of times we've had in Kansas City, we've had really good attendance. So I'm kind of excited to, to get there, especially after two years of uh, the COVID and uh, having things shuttled around. So I'm anxious to get back and you know, we've gone to a few shows this year so far and it's, uh, yeah, I think people are slow to get back into it. You know, the first couple of shows we've gone to were still a lot of uh, exhibitors, not as many attendees. I'm really hoping that since we're kind of right back in Kansas City and there's a lot of folks, you know, within three or four hours that could drive in, uh, that we'll see a lot more, a lot more attendees and not as many exhibitors. Yeah. Go ahead and bring me right into that, will you, Stephen? No, I think anybody new uh, into this industry, there's uh, it, Jeeps is a good organization to get in, get to know people. Um, the local chapter meetings are always valuable. Just to, to get to meet people, get to know what they do. Plus, it's it's relationships. You know, anytime you get in a new industry, new business, you know, it's all about building the relationships. You know, getting comfortable with people. You know, because the more people you know, the better off you are. You know, it's not always what you know, as much as it is, is who you know. You know, we are, we are. You know, a few years ago when I was sitting uh, on the boards, uh, we had the opportunity to take it for three years in Kansas City. You know, and there's some pretty good discussion on that because uh, we had talked about it, oh, for, for years and years and years, whether Jeep should be more of a, of a local Midwest show you know, to keep it, you know, in the Midwest and maybe just change it from Kansas City, Minneapolis, you know, uh, and at that time, you know, Omaha was in discussion, Indianapolis is in discussion, and and we've kind of outgrown Omaha, and we're, we're not really big enough to go back to Indianapolis, you know, so, <clears throat> and that was kind of discussion that wasn't, you know, the original intent of moving the show was around was so that each chapter around the nation could kind of be the host chapter. So that was the original intent of moving the show from from uh, different parts of the country. But, you know, as we've looked at attendance, you know, there's certain areas that do garner much better attendees than others. And what we'll find out after year three, what it looks like in Kansas City. You know, I'm sure year one will be fine. Year two will probably be solid. Year three is probably a question mark. You know, are we going to keep, keep everybody coming? Are they still going to be interested to come back to Kansas City and come back to the same place? Or will they be ready to move on to someplace new? Uh, you know, the, the what's new session is always kind of nice to go see. You know, just to see, uh, you know, who's got something new coming out. Um, so those are always good sessions to see. Uh, the speakers, you know, the, the ed sessions are always, always rock solid. You know, they, they do a great job putting those together and getting people uh, on the docket and, and give good presentations. <laughs>